Hi guys, I hope you're having a great day. I'm having a great day. I've just finished this painting in Art Rage on the iPad. And what I want to show you today is how I painted all of this wet looking pavement and the wet look of the rain uh, with the aid of the Art Out smudge brush. So let's get right into it. So I'm in Art Rage on the iPad. I just need to rotate my canvas before I start. And I'm going to select the uh, roller. Uh, I had to reinstall the default roller brushes. They um, dropped out again. Quite annoying. I wish uh, Art Rage would fix that. Then, so I get these sort of base colors on with the roller. And then I start painting with a standard oil painting brush. And... Um, I'm finding that my technique with oil paint in digital painting is changing to match my technique with traditional painting. While I've been painting traditionally, um, I'm sort of sketching things out more instead of just going in with abstract shapes because I find with the oils I need to do that. Uh, I don't want to be sort of over painting and muddying up the colours. So kind of because of that, my digital uh, technique has changed slightly and I didn't do that deliberately. I just automatically, when I started painting this, I automatically started sketching it in as I would when I was doing a traditional painting. So going back to, to traditional has definitely influenced my digital sketching and painting as well, where I... Um, using much more traditional techniques to get myself started uh, with the painting, which I didn't think that would happen. Uh, I'm really surprised at that, but there you go. So this painting's all done in one layer. You don't have to worry about choosing different layers and um, selecting multiply modes and, and whatever, whatever. Everything is just on this one um, layer. And I'm working with fairly muted colours at the minute because I just want to get in the um, background. And, and so this is like the first underpainting, I suppose. I just put those um, lamps in just to sort of get the perspective right. And to help me, by putting those lamps in, it helped me po position the top part of the building, trying to get everything uh, in the correct place for that so i'm sort of using muted grays underneath the canopy as well um i if, if you look at the photograph you can see it's sort of gray i do warm the gray up a little bit uh but i i want that sort of muted look and then these i'll get into really bright colors in the foreground a little bit later on so now i'm in the second part of the painting where i'm starting to add detail and flesh out all of the uh, form and shapes um, that are in this this scene. You can see I'm adding little bits of detail and highlights and things as I'm going. Just um, reshaping those figures slightly, which seems a bit odd because they are really almost abstract. There we go. I've just warmed up that background a little bit there. I just felt that needed warming up, then pop, popping in a few more highlights. Now, this is what the video is all about now. I put in those strokes for the reflections, and then I use the Ard Out smudge brush just to smear them out. And look how that gives that effect of the light bouncing off that wet pavement. And it's as simple as that. The old uh, painting this old painting uh, relies on the technique of using that odd out smudge brush and I haven't changed any of the settings at all I've I'm painting this bit in real time to show you exactly how I do it so I've sort of slowed the video right down for you and then I go in uh, with some highlights again on top of that first um, coat of paint if you like or the, the first layer that was smudged out. So just pop some highlights in there. Add a little bit of colour just to make it sparkle a little bit. 
And then I'm going to go in with that um, smudge brush again. There we are. I should say blending brush. And I'm reflecting. You notice I'm now sort of adding colour in the canopy and then reflecting it in the water. So it actually, or in the pavement, the wet pavement. So it gives you the idea that it is actually reflecting. So we're back up to the... Um, speed painting again now it's not that i paint this quick so i'm using the same technique now over the whole of the the painting everything the lights in the car uh, the all the reflections on the pavement they're all done by applying the color using the smudge brush as i say i haven't changed any of the settings i don't change any of the settings on the brush i don't use any thick oil paint for this one this is just the standard paintbrush all I change is the actual size of the brush. So you should be able to open up your iPad and by using the standard oil brush and the odd out smudge brush, you should be able to get an effect like this to give you really effective looking um, reflections on a wet pavement. There we are, I'm putting in a light there and just a little bit of the lamp post is illuminated by the light. And then this wall has got a, a light above one of the windows. So again, I'm using that smudge brush just to get that um, light effect where the light's illuminating the building. And that's the first int of strong color I put in there really on that window. I just felt that I'd got those lights spread out a little bit too much. So I'm gonna knock them back in a second or two. And all I do, I use the smudge brush just to push the dark color into the light color to get that, just to um, make them appear a little bit smaller. So just going back to the standard paintbrush now to add a little bit of architectural detail. If you can call it architectural detail, that is. Just making the windows a little bit more than uh, a simple stroke there by adding a little bit more colour. And again, this arch, the uh, I need some lights in the window. But they are really quite grey. It's amazing how um, you put a grey colour on top of a dark colour and it looks so bright. But in actual fact, it is still quite grey. So we're sort of getting close to um, the end and all I need to do now is put some really bright uh, colour into the pavement. So I begin quite gingerly really and just um, put in some muted colours there, push the brush up to 100% so I can get some thicker strokes on. And then I'm going in with some quite bright colour but it's not there's not a lot of color in it it's more white than color and then i start to add the color if you look at the um the camera shot it looks really vivid that is artificial the actual uh, screen grab is the true color of the um actual painting not the uh, video clip so i just put that um, reflection of the lamppost in there just a little squiggle add in a few darks and a few lines and this is just needs a few really popping highlights popped on to the top of there that's it there we go and then what I'm going to do I'm going to use uh, the smudge brush to put in some vertical strokes just to soften that off and give that impression of the light. I'm not quite into it, here we go, there they go. So I'm just popping those vertical strokes in. And that just really makes it look like that pavement's wet. So we've got this really bright color in the foreground that really pushes that forward. I just put a finishing little uh, touch to the umbrella, get it signed. And there we go. That's how you paint uh, wet looking pavements using the hard out smudge brush. 
Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I've got lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.